All right, FYF. Oh, it stands for F Your Friends, is what that song stands for. Uh, this song's got a, a couple little little cool tricks in it. Uh, it blends a couple things in it uh, that I think is pretty cool. Uh, when I was first, you know, at this stage with the band, um, there was a lot of... You know, a lot of integrity as far as like we want to make music, but we want to be like really cool players too. How do we, you know, blend the both, the both worlds, the best of both worlds? Be a little technical and be a little poppy. This song's kind of got, it's 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 it's, it's to me it's kind of like one of the transitions of. Uh, I mean, these days was definitely a, tr a transition piece, but this is kind of like. We were starting getting out of the crazier writing and, and starting to get a little more, a little more, I guess, poppier or something. So anyways, starts off with, uh, oops, let me turn the bass on. Okay, that's a, that's a kind of a, a big riff in the song. Uh, it's the verse songs, uh, our verse riffs. So what I'm doing here is I'm on the ninth, or the sorry, the uh, seventh, fifth, seventh, fifth. So what I'm doing, uh, I'm on the uh, the third. All right, I'm not sure if we need a five string or a six string for this song. I think think we need a six string for the song because of the harmonics in it. And I played it on a six string, so this is, this is, I'll just call it out as a six string. Okay, so we got, we got the, uh, the fourth string, and I'm going from uh, seven to five, and then on the fifth string, I'm going from uh, seven to five again, but I reverse it, and I go five, seven, five on the fourth string. So when I go on the last one down, I go, that's the same, that seven, five, seven, open E, or open fifth string on the sixth string. And it's two, it's six and six. Six on the fifth string, six on the fourth string. Open fifth string, six on the fifth string, six on the, uh, on the fourth string. So that's that riff. So, so we got that, but okay. So a lot happens. Like pretty much a little quote from the whole rest of the song is 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 in this. So it's in this like intro. We got this, and then we got this major riff. This not major as in major key or anything like that as in it's a big heavier part so we got open fifth string or e string to the first fret and then open so and then i just add a little a which is fourth fourth string and one fr first fret back down to open e So that's a little turnaround riff, and that ends up becoming a riff a little bit later on. So, so that's open E to, to two, to three. So open two, open three. So I go back down to two, and I go to one of the fourth string. And then I go back down to two of the fifth string and then open.
Okay, so that riff is basically the same thing as the intro, but I'm just adding like a harmonic chord pulling thing there. So it's the bottom three strings on the seventh fret harmonic. And the trick to get those to ring out is really like, really put your, your fingers arched up when you play that riff like when i first started that's how I, you know that's kind of like how i play conservatively you know i don't i try to move my fingers the least amount as possible but when i do the harmonic it's And then right when I come down with that, with that that little you know six six, um, that's when I like stop the harmonics. If they were still going at that time, I want everything to get like really cut everything off. So now we start getting into that riff. I mean, it jumps back and forth, but everything that I covered in the arrangement, or uh, the arrangement, is is what I've shown you so far. So in this one, so that's going to be the main riff. So we do. It. So the only difference there is we add a little tag to it. So before we went, and we just stopped, but now we're going back up to the third fret on the fifth string so we're going we're going so that's where we stopped before but now we're going back to to that first fret on the fourth string back to the second fret of the fifth string open and then to the third fret so the riff sounds like this normal speed that brings us to like the chorus finally we're there we used to take forever to get to choruses but which is cool because it's more of a musical journey I guess and it's not so you know you kind of got to think about your music and listen to it a little bit more before you get it and we were way into that and then we said ah no let's give it to him right away so anyways, this is one of those songs where we didn't give it to him right away. So. So there's a reason why I have this cutaway in this song, in, in this bass. And this song has one of those slap or pop parts that that I need it for um, before I had this bass like all this stuff that I recorded at this time these things didn't really I don't think they really got out not not some of these songs but some some people have them but I recorded it on an old Carvin LB76A which I didn't I haven't had for a long time but the on the Carvins the fretboards are a good amount of height above the base like the the body of the base well when i made this thing i didn't compensate for that and because you know this was kind of a this base was kind of an experiment like you know it was a prototype that ended up having a lot of things wrong with it but a lot of things right with it and i'm so used to it that it's it feels weird to play other instruments so in order to compensate what i do with my fingers when i pop I had to cut this out, which made a pretty cool little design, I think. Anyways, um, in this song, I uh, I grab strings 
with this with my uh, ring finger and I pop at the same time I pop twice like two strings so on this one I do that so let me let me tell you the riff first <laughs> forgot about the riff and then I'll put the slap part or the pop part in so uh, the chorus riff goes so we're on the sixth string the uh, second first and open So on that one, two, three, five, two on the fifth string, back from the on the sixth string from five to three. Sitting there on three on the sixth string. Two, three, five. So I end on three, two. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a two, it's like a two part phrase. The first time it comes up. Oh, it doesn't go two three. I'm sorry. It goes five three uh, on, on the on the end of that one, and then the second one. I go from two one on the fifth string, and then that's where I do the little pop thing. I grab both of them at the same time and just pull straight down. Sometimes I'll like choke it. Sometimes I, I'll let it go. So that's I. You hear it quite a lot in in my playing. You hear it in like SS Recognize. You'll hear it in like Masur, which I think I'm gonna do next. Masur, Masur. Um, anyways, um, so we got that riff. Um, so. So in that one, I go, I go to finger picking once we go to like this kind of like this little guitar part. Um, um, I just add like this tritone thing. Back then we were, we were doing that all the time or all of our wrists were, you know, it was like Primus was doing it. Mr. Bungle was doing it in order to be like a cool, weird band. He had to play those like riffs. You know, I had to like do that kind of stuff, but we were doing a lot of that. So, so, uh, and it was probably my fault because I was trying to be weird where these guys were more into just, you know, writing cool music and I was like oh no we gotta be weird and take it to some other level anyways so so that riff when I go back into uh, play with my fingers so I just add like when I'm when I go down to the third fret I'm adding fourth fret fifth fret just a little up and down so going from the sixth fret or sixth string uh, the sixth string third fret fourth fret fifth string fifth fret uh, fourth string and then back down to the back to the fourth fret on the fifth string again the riff is this
I think I think I intro. So that little turnaround, I'm doing a bar chord, three and five, three, fifth, third fret, fifth fret, on fifth string, fourth string. Go up a whole step to five, fifth fret, seventh fret, same thing, I just move it up two, two frets. Open E, and then the first fret on, or open B, sixth string, open sixth string, and then first fret on the sixth string. Okay. And then there's a guitar riff. Ding, do, 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 open E, fifth, fifth string. So that little boodooba is that open, open E or open fifth string to the 6th fret then the 6th fret on the 4th string which is the A string back into the rap riff again Okay, so that little, it's all just a variation of that. So, all I do is go into the octave, which is the 13th fret and the 13th fret. Then I do like a little chromatic dissension thing on, on from the, uh, from uh, the third string. Not third string, third fret on the on the fifth string. Three, two, one. And then we go back into that one riff again. So that's the end of it. That's how it ends. So you know all that stuff up to there. The ending is, uh, what is this? 14, 16. 14, 16 on the first, uh, the, sorry, the second string on the sixth string. 14, 16, go down one string to the third string. 16, 15. I need to intonate the space. That's not that bad. Anyways, so that's uh, that's uh, fuck your friends, FYF. Um, not not. It's kind of it's a weird song. It's uh, I thought it was a little more commercial when I first started this, and I don't think it's that commercial. <laughs> but uh, I think it's uh, one of those weird songs. I just you know it always we used to have all these weird little turns and and songs and i think that that was that turn which is kind of like what we did you know weird and it took us a while to get to the chorus on that one so once again i think we were shedding the pounds at that time but but uh still you know very much uh weirder type of writing um anyways uh Want me to do more songs? Got questions? 
Tizamore uh, Music at gmail.com. Uh, it's pretty much uh, easy, straightforward song. Uh, as long as you're slapping, doing harmonics, little finger stuff, you know, not too crazy. Uh, yeah, just let me know if you want to hear another song. Let me know if you like it. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next song.